I was coming in. Alrighty, we've got a kill going on at the one crossing. We don't quite know what's going on. It's a titanic battle between a zebra and a whole bunch of crocodiles that are now swimming off with a zebra. It is unbelievable, folks. This is live coming to you from the Mara Triangle. And you with myself, Steph Vintabur, on this camera. Excuse me, trying to get used to the camera. I have never played with one of these before. And that is as easy as that. That is how quickly a zebra can disappear. And that is a full-grown zebra and a full-grown Nile crocodile. Just to give you an idea of the size difference between these two, that is unbelievable. I've never seen that before in my entire life. And here we have it. Crocodiles writhing underneath the water. So what would have happened is that zebra tried to cross crocodile, grabbed it, swam downstream with it, and is now trying to submerge that zebra. Whew. Trying to drown it, actually. Here we go. There we go. There's the zebra still being held down by that monster croc. That is unbelievable. I was trying to stay a bit wide over there so that we could get any action. That zebra actually made it the whole way across the river. Can you believe it? And then literally within inches of the bank just gave up the fight for some reason. I don't quite know why to be honest with you. It just lay there. I think there was a crocodile probably holding on the probably holding on to the leg or the back of, uh, of that particular zebra and now that massive crocodile's got it by the head. And that is the end of it for that zebra. Unfortunately, that crocodile's weight to keep it straight underneath the water and it will drown very, very quickly. Marianne E. Cody, you're saying wonderful. I must agree with you. This is the most wonderful thing I've ever seen in my life. Dory, you're saying, gosh, look at them all. I agree with you. I can't believe how many crocodiles just came out of nowhere. And that is the biggest crocodile, the one on the left-hand side. He is easily three or four times the size of that zebra. Can you believe it? That zebra weighing in at 500 pounds, that crocodile easily, easily topping at the 14 feet, 15 feet mark. I've never seen anything like this. Now, I must be honest with you, there was about 100 or 200 zebra that took the moment to leave. Is that zebra, is it been opened? Yes, it's already been opened. No, is it? No. I, I don't quite know what's going on. It looks like there's crocodiles writhing underneath the surface. They've opened up the belly cavity before that big crocodile's let go. Here's another big one coming in from the back. Look at the size of these. No, that zebra's still alive. Oh, shame. Karen Merritt, you asked me how many crocs are there. Easily 30 or 40, Karen. Jess R. King, you're saying you're torn between wanting to shout for the zebra and wanting to shout for the crocodiles. I must be honest with you. Oh, there the belly's open. There's big crocodiles gulping down the insides. Of course, the most nutritious parts of this. And there's a hippo in the fray as well. Just look at that. That is unbelievable. Crocodiles spinning. They, of course, don't have molars and they don't have incisors. They can't cut off meat. They have to roll chunks of meat off. This hippo coming in. He's just coming to inspect what's going on. There's that big crocodile. He's let go of the zebra now. Well, the hippo's biting the crocodiles. Trying to save the zebra. This isn't uncommon. I've seen it. Well, I've heard of it before. I've seen some footage before. Don't forget, this is 100% live. This is happening on the Mara River right now. As we speak, bits and pieces of zebra being carried off by the various crocodiles trying to keep their heads out of the water, of course, so that they don't gulp too much water into their bellies. They don't have a flap that separates their lungs from their tummy. That zebra is still just busy rolling underneath the surface. It looks like there's a concentrated attack by the hippos. have let the crocodiles let it go. Let's go see where these crocodiles are going. Something else is happening over here. Could it be that another zebra has been caught? Difficult to say. Unless these crocodiles are busy following one another for the choiciest morsels. Wow. This is a crossing called Kildesac Crossing. One of my favorite crossings to be called. In actual fact, my favorite crossing. So that big crocodile just saw off. Probably a smaller crocodile with a choice piece of meat. There's a hierarchy amongst crocodiles that we don't really understand, I'll be honest with you. We don't know enough about crocodiles, or I don't know enough about crocodiles, at least anyway. Whew. Sydney Simmons, more than one hippo now. It's exactly true. There's probably about, let's go back and go and see, the three or four hippos that have come in to see what's going on. Here's what's left of the zebra. And just that seething mass of crocodiles still coming in. 
still busy fighting with one another over what's left. And that is as quick as that for a full-grown uh, zebra. Hannah, I didn't know how the crocs eat. That is amazing. Hey, Hannah, the way they roll the piece of meat off and then lift their heads up and swallow it. Here comes another big crocodile in again. Dory, you saying hello to Christy, which is good, I suppose. Lana, what's a group of crocodiles called? I don't actually know, to be quite honest with you, Lisa. Or Lana. I'm not actually sure. At the moment, I'm too excited to actually go through my memory banks to try and actually tell you what it is. There's more gulping going on over there. Excuse me going backwards and forwards over here. I'm obviously not a cameraman. Lisa, you saying having these cameras set up to be viewed remotely is a great idea. I couldn't agree with you more, Lisa. This is happening live right now. You don't know. And basically, we were just sitting in the office watching it. Next thing, a zebra came down. Next thing, we were watching a crossing. Next thing, we watched a crocodile attacking a zebra. Next thing, we had you on the screen. And this all happened in, within a, min a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. Ah, Kelvin, a group of crocodiles is called a Basque. Thank you very much for that, Kelvin. I needed the help there, Kelvin. Well done. Claire, you say, I thought crocs waited for meat to rot a bit. Claire, under normal circumstances, when there is a glut of carcasses in the river, they will wait for meat to rot a bit, but the size, the sheer size of those crocodiles meant that they could rip open that carcass. Now we've got a hippo and a crocodile feeding on a carcass. Now it's not uncommon, whoops, excuse me. It's not uncommon for hippo to eat meat. They will do so from time to time. That hippo there is having a good go at trying to get bits and pieces off of that carcass. They will eat it down. And they do that just to supplement their diet. It is a drought here in Kenya. Larissa, you wanted to know where the rest of the zebra herd is? Larissa, they crossed just to the left of the screen. And most of them made it, except for this one. The one sacrificed, I don't know if it sacrificed itself, but it definitely looked pretty weird. There's another hippo biting that crocodile on the back. You know, one of the most amazing things over the next couple of months is going to be able to learn with you the interactions between crocodiles and hippos. They definitely know about one another. They live next to each other for decades. And I think in a high stress environment like this, zebra dying, meat available, crocodiles and hippos definitely have an interaction similar to how I would imagine lions and hyena have. Very, very exciting. Joe, you said you didn't know hippo ate meat. Yeah, it's, it's, they definitely are mostly vegetarian, but they will from time to time have, uh, have meat when it's available. Ooh. Charlotte, you want to know, do hippos and crocs fight? Yes, they will do, as we've seen. And they'll do that because of the stress of this, of this moment. All right, I think that is about that for this particular crossing. We've got a lot of crocodiles just looking for the leftovers. The hippo is holding the carcass down underneath the water. And gradually over the next couple of hours, the fish will clean the carcass. Smaller crocodiles will come in and clean the carcass. And that is that, basically. All right, I think we're going to crawl that, that crossing done. It's just